Hi, I'm Zarin from Sonic Farm Audio, and this is our award-winning Tantra bass amp. It received uh, the best unit in the guitar amp technology in 2018 by Sound on Sound magazine. This amp has a preamp section which is tube-based, and the power section which is uh, an optional uh, Class D 1000 watt or 20 uh, 2,500 watt musical power uh, option. It's got two speakons at the back. It can drive down to four ohm impedance of a combined impedance of the cabinets. There's a DI output which enables you to run your signal into a, a PA console. It can be a mixing studio console or a PA console. And that's going to be microphone level isolated by a transformer and that enables Humphrey operation. Also there's a line out level so you can operate even the preamp section independently from the power section which you can have turned off. There's two switches in the back, uh, one for the power amp and one for the preamp. So when, when you don't need cabinets you can record at your studio just with the preamp. And also, there's a switch to separate the power amp from the preamp, so you can even run this, use this as a power amp for any other applications, if you have even a, a board or something, anything, and then you can directly get into the power amp and use that separately. Once you plug in your guitar, the first thing you want to do is make sure that there's no overload at the tube stage. And you do that by flipping the, the overload feed switch to the left. And then when you play your bass, you watch the, the green LED light, make sure it doesn't turn red. That means your signal is nice and uh, undistorted. If it turns red, that means your bass has a really high level, output level, and you would need to roll off the, the volume on your bass. Or you could also flip the uh, tube mode into triode, which has somewhat lower gain. So you mute the, the input, then you flip the tube mode switch in, to the right. Now it's in triode, unmute, and now it's... <laughs> So somewhat lower level. Uh, but even this very hot uh, output music man style of bass is not clipping the tube. So we're good. So ju that's just to check. Now you can flip that overload switch to the right so you can make sure that there's no uh, clipping distortion happening anywhere in the processors uh, that follow the tube section. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, the EQ, engage it, flip it to the right, now it's in the chain. Right now I'm using the bridge pickup on this Music Man copy guitar. That's a totally linear sound. I'm missing a little bit of, uh, of mids here and I'm gonna just add... It's too bright, I can maybe roll off some treble. Maybe I'm missing a little bit of bass, so let's get some bass. Get, get some of that treble back. Maybe some really deep bass, like for reggae. Hit it like at maybe 60 hertz. And 
and that's still the bridge pickup. You know, of course, if I would use this, I'd get even more bass. So that's the EQ. Okay, I'm gonna show you how the distortion circuit works. There are two pots here. One is to drive the, the, the distortion tube, and the other one is to blend it back in with the clean signal. So I've driven that tube, and then I add some of that back with the normal signal. So I've EQ'd a little bit, so uh, I've scooped the mid-range a little. Maybe add some bass. That's without the overdrive. Overdrive, you can add the solid state uh, distortion uh, circuit as well, which is this switch here, and then you have a filter that enables you to roll off the bass before coming into the overdrive circuit to make it less muddy if you want just the higher frequencies to uh, go through the tube. The compressor section, compressors are really good for bass guitars and they uh, enable your lower notes, your softer notes to cut through the mix. In this case we have 4 to 1, which means for every 4 dBs of increase of the signal, uh, the, the compression circuit will only allow for 1 dB of change at the output. So it's, um, but under the threshold nothing changes. In this case, the compression knob adjusts the level of signal which is pushed into the compressor circuit. So you get a perceived uh, increase in loudness once you turn it, turn it up, but the higher nodes get squished against the, uh, the ceiling of the headroom. Okay? So uh, I'll show you how that works. Once you engage it, if it's at zero, if it's at zero level, no level change, and then I'm going to I'm going to turn down the listening the the master level because it's really loud. So now. This type of a compression circuit also is uh, it's a very smart uh, detection circuit because it detects your uh, attacks of your guitar. When you pluck a string or you slap it, it catches very quickly the, that transient, but it also doesn't uh, um, mess up the decay of the note like many cheaper compressors because it, it's a dual time constant circuit, which means once the attack finishes, another slower uh, regulation circuit kicks in and lets you have a really smooth decay of the note. The last processing section before the master output is the harmonics generator section. 
it's got two knobs, H2 and H4, which are the second and the fourth harmonic. This circuit accentuates attacks, or the louder the note is, the, the louder the harmonic generator kicks in. That's how it makes, gives it the unlinear response that is perceived as a double frequency. So we've experimented with it and found out then that it's better to feed it after the compression circuit because then it's much smoother than if I were to feed it directly from the uncompressed signal. If you have a rock production or any production where you need more mids to cut through or you expect the audience to listen to the recording on a very small speaker like cell phones, like uh, tablets, like, you know, small computer speakers, then this is going to help your bass cut through. So I'll, I'll show you. So this would be extreme. But you want to be really careful it's to be used sparingly. Now the fourth harmonic is going to bring an even higher frequency in it. So. Careful not to, to add too much of it. So that was our Tantra bass amp. I hope you liked this quick video. Uh, you can find us on the internet, sonicfarm.com. We have a Facebook page as well. And you can drop us a line through the contact box or give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you very much.